Hey, what's going on guys? This is Knasty3890 here. I am back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Today we're doing another episode of Make Madden Great Again. We're talking about items that I think are ways that they can make Madden not only better, but we're also going to talk about um, what they've done wrong. And we're going to be at least fair and give constructive feedback, not just going complete bitch fest and everyone complaining. Now, we're going to be talking about promos today, promotions uh, that they do. I'm going to say what things I like about them and where I feel like they've gone wrong. And I want to hear in the comments down below, guys, if where you think they could improve promos, or if you agree or disagree, all that fun stuff. Now, if you want me to do another one of these, let me know in the comments on the sec on like the topic that you want to do or you want me to do. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Madden content like this. So, let's just go into the sets and we're going to look at some of the promos that they've done because I feel like this all-rookie one is kind of a pro is a promo that I really don't like. Now... For if you're not sure what a promo is, it's what they do usually around holidays or around a specific event. Um, for instance, the first promo that we usually get, I'm not counting, I mean, Team of the Week, I guess, is a promo, but I really don't feel like that's a promo. I feel like it's not really a timed event. It kind of is like weekly, but I don't know. I, I personally feel like it's a promo. However, the first one I feel like we get is BCA, Breast Cancer Awareness. That's the month of October. We got defensive and offensive this year. I didn't like that it was split up. That's kind of like a little bit of a money grab. I wish it was just all one, but that's that's a minor problem. Then after that, we get most feared, and then we'll get the, that's for a Halloween, if you didn't know. Then we get Thanksgiving, and then right after Thanksgiving, we get the Black Friday, and then we get the uh, freeze promo right around Christmas, and that's usually those three promos, those last three, Thanksgiving, Blitz, the Black Friday, and the freeze are probably my three favorite promos. Like, this, that is the... Epitone of Mutt. That is my favorite time to play Mutt. Is right around then. It's just those promos are usually good this year. They weren't. And, and that's kind of a problem we're going to get into in, in a minute. But the BCA promo this year I think was one of their best promos they did. And I had so much hope because this first month of, the, of this year was awful. Remember the Color Rush promo where it gave you like a 90 overall Todd Gurley that was borderline impossible to do. And then right after that promo they came up with like a 90 LeSean McCoy which made that other... Um, Talk Gurley really worthless? Yeah, that was fun. But anyway, let's take a look at this promo for all rookie offense and defense. But let's take a look at the defense. And this is where I have a problem. Right here. Do you see this? Do you see where I don't like? I feel like you guys probably will be the same. You see all this? There is not a single player that's been added. These are all collectibles. There are 30 you need to get a player. You need 30 collectibles which have zero value in a week when this promo expires. That's why I hate collectibles. They have zero value once the, the promo ends. If you get a gold card, if there was a gold uh, Darren Lee, if there was a gold, uh, let's see, Eli Apple, there's a gold Jalen Rams, like an 84 of these or something like that, or even like a slight, like a, like a 86 Elite that you need to do for a set, at least when the promo ends, you can still use that item. These collectibles will be worthless when this promo expires, which I think is April 10th. Was it April 10th? I'll double check that. But that's when, yeah, April 10th expires. April 11th, those, those collectibles are completely worthless. They have zero value to this game. That's a problem. That's why I hate collectibles. And no one likes pulling a collectible. Even if it goes for a lot, there's just something about pulling a collectible. I don't know. I don't enjoy it. I feel like no one really does. The BCA problem this year, instead of collectibles, they had silver players. Which you're thinking, well, Kane Asti, what's a silver player really worth? Well, in October, silver players could have some value. Not much value, but for people who are just starting up, there's a there's a small value there. And it's nice at least you're pulling a player. And then they had the gold players. And then they had the elite players. Zero collectibles. That's what they... I do not want to see a single collectible ever in Madden. Ever, 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 ever. The only thing I want to see that is a quote-unquote collectible would be like a mutt tip, a mutt gear... Or like badges, if you want to call those quote-unquote collectibles. I hate collectibles. They just, it is just ways for them to get money because you have to get parts and parts and parts and parts and parts to equal something that sh that costs more than it should. But I also do like, one thing I do like about this, at least for this set, is wild card. I do like that. I, I, I'll be, I normally... I. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't like wild card for like the, these sets though. I do like wild card when you have to have a player. Like cuz if you guys remember last year you may not have played but last year at Easter time there was a night train lane to get and there was a Zach Martin card which was literally like worth as much as as, as the night train lane and the Zach Martin wasn't even like one of the best cards. It was because it was so rare and you had to find one of each not just 10 Easter cards. So I kind of like the wild card for that. The only time I don't like wild card 
is for positional heroes. I think, and I like how they did positional heroes this year, except for elite badges, which we will not get into that in this video. But what I want them to do in the future, guys, for promos, like I said, no collectibles. And I have no problem with doing a lot of promos. I mean, if they want, if you want to call it a money grab, yes, it is kind of a money grab. The more you do, the more packs you have. But you don't have to buy the packs, and you can get the new cards. You may not get the best card, but you can get some of the eighty, low eighties, like in October. I got some of those low base, uh, elite, not base elites, but low elites BCA cards. I was using a couple of those. Like I used Malcolm Butler. I used Muhammad Wilkerson. I didn't use the Richard Sherman or the Aaron Rodgers, um, but I had those cards, and I wasn't really spending a ton on that. Um, but in regards to like the Thanksgiving promo. Next year, EA, if you're listening to this, you ruined the Thanksgiving promo for one very simple reason. There was no Cornucopia pack. Cornucopia pack is probably my favorite pack in any Madden every year. Look at, I will still, I will still, I remember this year at Thanksgiving when after the promo dropped, I was like, before it was dropping and after it was dropping, I was re-watching Madden 25 Cornucopia pack openings. If you guys want to. Look at those packs. Those packs literally included one of everything plus like a 95 or higher card at Thanksgiving time. Now, this year, the overalls are lower. Yes, yes, I understand. However, that pack was so much fun to do. It was hard to do. I don't have a problem if it's realistically hard to do. Not stupid hard where it's like no one can do it. But realistically, it may cost you like 500,000 coins to do. But you're going to get yourself maybe a really good card. But it's, a, it's so much fun to open. It's like... I remember when I was doing them, my heart was racing so much opening this pack. It was so much fun to do. That needs to come back. Gifts and Christmas. I love gifts. That is, I love the idea of like trying to figure out what the gifts are. However, you got to be able to make them either tradable or sellable. That was ridiculous. You couldn't because then you're stuck with the shit you were dealt with. That's stupid. That is, and I got, and you know what? And a lot of people had really bad luck with gifts. This year, I had great luck with gifts. This is the first year I've had great luck with gifts. With Christmas promo. That, I usually always get the worst gifts, but I still love it. This year, I got the best gifts, but I still didn't enjoy it as much because you can't trade and all that stuff. I was stuck with like 10 contract gifts. I have 75,000 contracts right now. I had plenty of contracts, but I didn't need all those contract gifts, and I was stuck with them. Also, don't have two rounds of gifts. That's a little bit of a money grab. Like I mentioned with the BCA, they did offensive defense, and they split them up just to, to spend more money. That I don't like. But those are just some of the small things on those specific promos. But those are the ones that you can't ruin. Like, that is, like I said, the epitome of Mutt. It's like the biggest part of Mutt is, I feel like, from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Maybe you can save the Super Bowl and the playoffs, but I don't know. I love, most teams are out of it, so maybe people aren't out playing. But Thanksgiving to Christmas is, I feel like, I don't know, maybe you guys disagree, is like the biggest time of Mutt. And don't screw it up next year, guys. I'm talking about EA. Don't screw it up. Have a cornucopia pack next year. The Blitz promo, obviously that's obviously a money grab. It's Black Friday. I understand that. People may not participate, and that's fine. If you want to, that's fine. It is completely a money grab one, though, so don't be on the, so don't worry about that. But also, I know I mentioned this in my solo video, where I talk about Maddie, you can Madden create it with solos. There should be a ton of solos whenever they have these positional, I mean, they have these promos out. You've got to have solos, just for the people who are doing no money spent. Maybe not for the Blitz promo, maybe... Because I, like, I understand that's a lot of money, even though they did do a few. The Christmas one should have a ton. Like, give me 100 solos when the Christmas promo drops. EA, do that for me next year. I know I mentioned that in my prior video. But yeah, <clears throat> like I said, I never want to see a collectible again. Please, go back to your roots. Look at Madden 25. Look at Madden 13 for their uh, for those promos. Those were some of the better promos. Go back to look at that and get rid of collectibles, guys. I despise them with so much hate. But I do love you guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. Drop a like if you did. I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.